Beast family. Welcome to another episode of YP High Perspective, where we review internet media content via news clips, entertainment, or everyday recordings, and give you a higher cognitive disposition on the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be reviewing a video clip that has the social media world in a frenzy in regards to actor Liam Neeson allegedly making racist remarks towards a black man. And so without, without, excuse me, without further ado, I'm going to watch the video, then I'm going to give my high perspective slash views and opinions on this situation. So let's just jump right into it. Here we go. Here go the clip. Bam. Liam Neeson is known for his relentless rage and revenge thrillers. I will find you. And I will kill you. And his new movie, Cold Pursuit, is no different. I'm gonna kill him. In an interview with British online newspaper The Independent, Neeson says he can relate to his character turning to anger. I'll tell you a story. This is true. Neeson describes learning years ago that a woman close to him was raped. I asked, did, they, did she know who it was? No. What color were they? She said it was a black person. He remembers walking the streets, seeking vengeance. I did it for maybe a week, hoping some black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him. Later in the interview, remorse, saying he's learned from his own actions. It was horrible, horrible when I think back, but I did that. A representative for Neeson declined NBC News' request for comment. His regret not accepted by all, resulting in anger and outrage. This time in real life instead of on screen. Katie Beck, NBC News. Hey, hey NBC News fans, thanks right. for checking out. All right, all right, that's all I need to hear. Let me just jump right into this shit, okay? Let me just jump right into this shit. First and foremost, um... I can't see, Liam Neeson made a statement, he said black bastard. I don't know if that statement comes from a racist source within him. I don't know if that came from him being honest about what he felt at the time. So is Liam Neeson a racist? Have no clue. But what I will say is, I'm not mad at what Liam Neeson said. See, let me say this, okay? I'm tired of people going in a frenzy when they hear some real stuff. I don't like that people get upset when they hear real stuff. Now, let me tell y'all where I'm going with this. If what Liam Neeson said is racist, or you're upset with Liam Neeson, especially as a black person, then that means every black person in America is racist because of what happened between Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman. So, here's all I heard, okay? A white man was told by a white woman that she was raped by a black man. Whether that's true or not, who knows? But a white man responded the way he should have responded. He seek, he sought vengeance. Okay? Now the real problem is, why don't nobody else have enough heart to say they feel the same way? If you seen what happened to Sandra Bland and you will sit here and watch this video and say you didn't feel the same way, you a liar. If you seen what happened to Corinne Gaines and you can't relate to how Liam Neeson said he felt, you're a liar. If you seen what happened to Trayvon Martin and you can't say that you felt the same way, you're a liar. Now let me have another flip on you. And I don't want nobody to think that I'm protecting racists. Because if Liam Neeson's a racist, he's a racist. But I'm not dealing with that. I'm being neutral here and going off what I heard. I heard a grown ass man, okay, who happens to be white. Hear a tragic story about something that happened to a woman of his race, and he responded accordingly. So my question is, why we don't why we don't have that response? Sixty five thousand women and children went missing in D.C. I didn't hear one nigga say nothing about walking the streets seeking vengeance. Not one nigga, okay? But you mad at a man? At a white man who responded properly as you supposed to in regards to protecting a woman of your race? Well, okay. You know how many niggas shoot niggas every day and niggas walk the streets seeking vengeance? So what's the... I don't understand. I don't understand what y'all upset about. I didn't hear nothing wrong with that man. The only thing that I heard that would make me investigate Liam Neeson 
psychologically is black bastard. Okay? I need to know where that's coming from. Are you reenacting how you felt? Or are you racist and you using this opportunity to 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 throw a to throw a curveball? But outside of that, I didn't hear nothing wrong. Okay? Because if, if a black woman that I know personally tell me a white man raped her, we gonna be getting some vengeance too. So if a motherfucker say, oh, that, that makes you racist, then nigga, so be it. But with that being said, it's not about racist all the time. That's what you're supposed to do. If a, if a Chinese man say a Puerto Rican raped his woman, what you think the Chinese man going to do? Would you say, oh, that's racist? He, he protecting the what? Let me tell you something about a woman, okay? A woman is the one that's going to carry on your, your species. You're supposed to protect your woman. Wouldn't be no more white people if it wasn't for white women. Wouldn't be no more black people if it wasn't for black people. If I mean black women. So you're supposed to go for broke for the woman of your race. So when I heard this and we all just listened to it and I'm thinking now all of the memes and all of the uproar that the internet is in, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Because I'm going to say this. If Liam Neeson is racist... Every nigga ever that watched police brutality on the internet or on the news and felt they wanted vengeance is racist. So that means every time somebody that's an opposite race of you do something oppressive to you and you want to strike back, you're racist. What kind of shit is we on? Hell no. Let me tell you something, Liam Neeson, if you're watching. What I don't respect about you is the fact that you turned into a pussy and you apologized. That's what I don't respect. That's what I don't respect. Because if I was you, I would have told the world, you can kiss my ass. Every time one of my close friends or associates tell me they got raped by anybody, bitches go, I will find you and I will kill you. Okay? Your voice. And so what I don't respect about you is you couldn't be a man and stand on how you felt on, on, on when it counted. Which is in the public. You, why did you fall for? What did you fall for? Because motherfuckers felt like you was being racist or what? That's what the fuck you supposed to do. Because, listen. Puh, puh, puh. Let me become an internationally known public, positive public figure. And I'm doing good in the world. And a motherfucking, per, a woman in my personal life tell me she got raped by anybody. Black man, white anybody. And, and I say some shit. I'm a, the shit that Liam Neeson said ain't nowhere compared to the shit that'll come out of my mouth. And let a motherfucker ask me, I, do you feel apologetic about No, I don't. I wish death on whoever did it, their mama, their kids, and their kids' kids. That's how I feel about it. You don't rape no motherfucking woman. You don't rape no woman, man. I don't care what race she is. You don't rape no woman. That's not what you do. So if a man of, and like I said, I'm not saying the story is true. I don't know if that woman lied to Liam Neeson. I don't know. But since I don't know, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm going to go off what I know. What I know is he said, according to him, this is what he was told, and this is how he responded. <laughs> Great job. The only part you failed at, Liam Neeson, is apologizing for the way you truly felt. Because you wasn't wrong. Because every time, I'm going to tell you something, Liam Neeson. I feel the same motherfucking way every time I scroll down goddamn social media. Every time I see an injustice, I feel the same motherfucking way. So, I'm not going to sit up here and act like you racist because you heard or got a whiff of a form of oppression. Because, nigga, I feel the same motherfucking way. Every time I see a chemtrail in the sky, I wish I knew who the motherfucker flying the plane was. Every time I see motherfucking fluoride coming out a tap water sink, I wish you I knew who the motherfucker was putting it in there. Okay? Every time I see... uh. Uh, pizza gate or South or child sex trafficking scandals. I wish I knew who the motherfucker was kidnapping you. So don't sit up here and play the race card because somebody said some real shit. That's what a man's supposed to do. Y'all kill me with that bullshit. Yeah, racism exists. Yeah, white people do do some racist shit, but this ain't one of them. And yeah, he said black bastard. And if I see him, I can ask him what he meant by that. But that's him saying that to me and me noticing that. Is not going to make me negate the fact that he wasn't wrong for his response in the situation. So, the real question is, did Liam Neeson respond the way a man was supposed to for the woman of his race? And then say some shit out of anger that sounded 
And he said black bastard, okay, whatever. M might be racist or not. Did he say some shit that might be racist? Or is Liam Neeson an actual racist and was actually upset that the woman who said she was assaulted by a black person, ha the assaultant or the assailant happened to be of a race that Liam Neeson doesn't really like? That's the question. But as far as his reason for saying, because people going crazy to my, he said he wanted to kill a black person. Why? Okay. That don't, a white person saying they want to kill a black person, that don't just alarm me. I need to know why, okay? Why Why do you feel like that? A black person raped your mother? Well, nigga, I would feel the same way too if I was you. That's just every day. That's like if a motherfucker, if a white, that's like niggas watching Roots. If that's the case, every nigga that ever watched Roots or watched Django, nigga, you racist. You're not going to tell me you watch Roots. You not, Let me be, be real with yourself, man. You know how many white kids had a hell of a goddamn school year when Roots came out? You know how many white people was in the fucking theaters leaving Django nervous as a motherfucker? So stop. Don't sit up here and play them fucking games, man. You seen 12 Years a Slave, and you know how you felt looking at the white person next to you in the theater. So if that's the case, you motherfucking racist too. Be serious, man. Be serious. It ain't about what you say or what you do. It's why. If a white, if a white person told me right now, I want to kill a black person. And I said, why do you want to kill a black person, Billy? And they said, because a white, a black person raped my mama. I would say, you know what, Billy? I can't say I'm mad at the way you feel, okay? Because I read a lot of history books, and I get lot mad at white people for a lot of the shit that I see that they did. So I can't, I can't fault you. What the fuck I'm going to be mad at, motherfucker? Because I feel the same way sometimes when I watch slavery movies. I feel the same motherfucking way when I read history books, okay? I feel the same motherfucking way when I watch CNN. So, it's not about uh what you feel. It's about why you feel that way. Now, does that mean I'm racist? Does that mean I walk around wanting to harm random white people? No. But the point I'm trying to make is, if, if you're in influenced or invoked... Or being harmed, or being oppressed, or being psychologically transgressed upon, you're going to invoke feelings of retaliation if you have any kind of warrior inclination within your soul. That's it, okay? And so I'm I'm tired of motherfuckers sitting here trying to blow everything out of their pocket and take everything out of pocket and and crying about shit like a pussy all the time. Stop being a pussy all the time, man. Grow the fuck up. What this man said. That I heard. That we all just heard. Unless he said some shit else that we didn't hear. Everything I just heard did not alarm me at all. I have no reason to believe that I wouldn't have said the same shit, if not something ten times worse, if I wasn't in Liam Neeson's position. Okay? And so I'm not mad at Liam Neeson for what Liam Neeson said. Now, you you can be mad at me. You can be mad at me for not, oh, jumping on a black wave. I don't give a fuck. This is higher perspective. And so this ain't dick right. Because I, because you black. This is about being, this is a higher perspective channel. And from what I heard, I wish every man on the planet would respond like that when a woman got transgressed. Because I'm going to tell you what, Liam Neeson was walking the streets. I'm going to end on this. Liam Neeson was walking the streets over one woman who he still can have a conversation with. We have 65,000 women and children missing in D.C. Every year, a minimum of 800,000 women and children who are black come up missing. I don't hear, I don't, I ain't heard a motherfucking rap song about it. All the gangster rap, these niggas, man, I ain't heard one nigga say one thing about these missing women and children. So Liam Neeson, thank you. Thank you, Liam Neeson, for showing the world how you supposed to respond when somebody transgress on the woman of your motherfucking race. Thank you, Liam Neeson. So maybe all you mad ass niggas could do the motherfucking same. And when something happened to your mama, your child, your daughter, your sister, or she come up missing, okay, maybe you can walk the motherfucking streets seeking vengeance too. So don't be mad at Liam Neeson because he, because you a pussy and you trying to make him think, make him out to, to seem like he did something demonic. He ain't do nothing demonic. The only thing Liam Neeson said that I have a problem with is a black bastard. And I have a problem because I don't know his intention behind saying it. And like I said, if I ever meet him, I'll ask him what he meant and why he said it. Was he upset? Or are you racist? And you use that situation to get your rocks off. But other than that, nigga, I'm not mad at you for saying you wanted to do this because I know why you wanted to do it. And so that being said, if anybody doesn't understand the higher perspective of this video, then that's on you. But I fully understand what Liam Neeson felt because I feel that motherfucking way every time I turn on CNN. And with that being said, family, 
This has been another episode of YP Higher Perspective. I hope that this video has not incited any type of racial tension. I hope that this video has not led anybody of any specific race to believe that Liam Neeson or myself wishes to do harm towards you. This video right here was simply to broaden the perspective and deliver the understanding that a man of whatever species he's a part of has an obligation to protect the female gender of that species because she is the one who will continue on that race. And with that being said, family, I love y'all. Peace.